Chapter 13, A Bad Idea. That afternoon, George and Harold sat in their treehouse feeling sorry for themselves. She can't get away with that, said George. We've got to tell somebody about this. Nobody's going to believe us, said Harold. Well, there's only one thing we can do. I mean, well, there's only one thing you could, we can do, said George. He opened the drawer to their drawing table and searched for, for pennies, paper, paper clips, dried spitballs, and rubber bands. Then he pulled out, out of a dusty plastic plastic ring with with some gum stick on it. It was the three D hypno ring. Oh no! Said, said Harold. I thought we threw that thing away. We just threw out the instructions anyway, said George. But I remember how... But I remember how it works. Do you remember what happened the last time we used it? Asked Harold. Yeah said George. But we were fo fooling around last time. This time we'll be serious. We won't make any mistakes. All we, we have to do is hypnotize her and change our grades back to normal. That's all. I don't know, said Harold. It sounds like a bad idea to me. What's worse than flunking to fourth grade? Asked George. Good point, said Harold. 